Hey kids and welcome to Celebration Kids Online. We are so excited you're here with us today. Uh, I'm Pastor Robbie. And I'm Miss Nicole. And we have an amazing morning ready for you guys. Don't we, Miss Nicole? We sure do. It's gonna be full of screaming. And some shouting. And some singing. And even some dancing. And of course, another adventure in God's big story, the Bible. I am so excited. Today we're gonna discover something amazing. Are you guys ready for this? Today, we're going to discover that I can follow Jesus. Can you guys say that with me at home? Nice and loud. Are you ready? Are you ready, Miss Nicole? I'm ready. All right, one, two, three. I, I can follow Jesus. Jesus. Great job, weren't they great? They were great. All right, but you guys, you know, I still think you're a little bit too sleepy for this fun morning we have ready. So I think we should wake you guys up with a game. Do you guys like games? How about you, Miss Nicole? I love games. All right, guys, let's head on over to game time. Roses are red, violets are blue. I want to play a game. How about you? You're about to be shown several candy hearts on the screen. One of these candy hearts says, I love you. The candy hearts will then get shuffled up, but your challenge will be to keep your eye on the candy heart that says, I love you. Think you can do it? If so, let me hear you say, won't you be my Valentine? <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, shout out one, two, or three if you think you know which heart says, I love you. Great job, everyone. Let's try another one. This one will be a little faster. Whoa, that was fast. Did you keep track of the right one? If so, shout it out. One, two, or three. If you think you know which heart says, I love you. Oh, great job, everyone. Let's try another one. This time with four hearts. Oh, that was definitely a little trickier. Shout out the number if you think you know which heart it is. <laughs> nice job. Now, let's try it again, but a little faster. Okay, that was really tough. Uh, did you keep your eye on the heart? If so, shout it out. One, two, three, or four. Way to go! That was really challenging. But what happens if we add in one more candy heart? All right, who knows which heart says, I love you. Shout it out if you know it. Nice job. Now, can you do it if the hearts go even faster? <laughs> that was just crazy. Uh, does anybody know where the heart is? Wow! Anybody who could keep their eye on that one must really love candy hearts. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. You guys did amazing. Weren't they awesome? They were really good. All right, so I think we're ready to start this morning off. One of my favorite ways to start our morning together is by shouting nice and loud. Do you guys like to be loud? I bet. How about you, Miss Nicole? I love to be loud. Okay, so we're gonna scream out our five values, the five things we all need to live a life that celebrates Jesus. 
All right, now if you know them, scream them out nice and loud with us. And if not, this is the perfect time for you to learn because they're gonna show up right down here on your screen. Are you guys ready? Are you ready, Miss Nicole? I'm ready. Okay, so our first value is love God. We love God because he first loved us. Our second value is love, love people. We love people because God loves all people. And our third value is do, do your, your best. best. We do our best because God deserves our best. Our fourth value is celebrate. celebrate. Because life with Jesus is always worth celebrating. And our fifth and final value is flow with grace. God gives us grace so we can show grace to others. Great job, weren't they amazing? I think I heard them all the way over here. All right, now, if you guys are sitting down, you're gonna wanna jump up to your feet because we have a special surprise for you. It's our friend, Pyro! Pyro! That was your cue, buddy? Every time, let me try and help him out. Okay, well she's looking for Pyro. I'll hang out here with you guys. Wonder where he could be. Oh, there you are, Pyro. How's it going? Everyone say hi to our friend Pyro. So Pyro, are you ready to celebrate with these kids? All right, do you guys all know Pyro's signature move? Well, if not, this is the perfect time to learn. Let's go ahead and show them, all right? So we start by everyone get down as low as you can go. All right. Now, on the count of three, we're all gonna jump up and shout, let's celebrate. Ready? One, two, three. Let's celebrate! Great job. But you know what, Pyro? I think they could be louder, don't you? All right, guys, let's try it a little bit louder. Everyone, crouch down nice and low. All right, one, two, three. Let's celebrate! Great job, guys. All right. Oh, you gotta get going, Pyro. Okay, everyone say bye to our friend Pyro. Bye, Pyro. I can't believe that I still can't find him. Well, you're not gonna like this, but you actually just missed him. Again? I know, oh. but at least you're in time for the best part of the morning. You guys all ready for another exciting adventure in God's big story, the Bible? I'm so ready. What are we looking at today? Well. Today, we're gonna to be uh, wrapping up our time in Jesus' Sermon on the Mount with one more lesson from Jesus. Only one more lesson? I feel like we just scratched the surface of what Jesus has to teach us. We really did. See, Jesus has so many awesome things he teaches us in those few chapters in the Gospels, but there are still so many exciting stories about Jesus that I want us to look at. So, we're gonna wrap up our time here in the Sermon on the Mount with one more lesson. What is it? Well, it's actually the way that Jesus wrapped up his entire big teaching with a story. A story that I think is going to be the perfect way for us to discover our point for today. You know, that I can follow Jesus. Can you guys say that with us at home? Nice and loud. Are you ready? Are you ready, Miss Nicole? I'm ready. All right, one. Two, three, I can follow Jesus. Great job, guys. So for today's story, let's head on over and see Bucky and the team. So are we ready to go for some more teaching? I am. Same. I wonder what we're gonna learn today. Only one way to find out. You all want to be a part of the awesome kingdom God is building, right? Well then, be careful and think about everything you're told. Because there are liars who try to trick you off of the narrow paths that lead you to God's kingdom. But if you listen to me, you will be okay. Imagine there are two builders. They are both building houses on the beach. Well, one builds his big, beautiful house on the sand. One builds it on solid rock. Well, guess what happens when the storm comes? Bad news bears for the sandy shores? Exactly. The house built on the shifting sands falls down, but the house built on the solid rock stands up nice and strong. So, 
It is when, with your life, you can build on all the crazy, changing ideas around you, and when trouble comes, your life will fall apart. Or you can follow me, learn from me, build your life on me and all that I show you. No matter what the storm, I will hold you firm. Wow, this dude's the real deal. <laughs> Whoa, that was crazy. Jesus really wasn't messing around. He tells them straight out, follow me, it's the only thing that is always true. A normal guy couldn't get away with that. <laughs> only someone as amazing and special as Jesus could. I, I guess that's why thousands of years later, there were still so many of us following him. Isn't it pretty cool to think that thousands of years later, I can still follow Jesus? Yeah, it's so awesome that I can build my life on him, no matter what comes in my way. You know, we have looked at a lot of what Jesus taught and did, but there's still some of the most important stuff he did left to look at. You're right, let's head back to base to see where we can go next. Wow. That is intense. Isn't it? Jesus was not messing around. He wanted everyone to know that we all build our lives on something. And if it's not strong, then things will fall apart when storms come. So Jesus wants us to build our whole lives on him? Exactly. Jesus wants us to come to him with every little thing in our life, to trust him completely, to let him lead us. Jesus wants us to follow him. Following Jesus. That's how we build our lives on the rock? Exactly. Trusting and following Jesus. We can't go wrong when we do that. So even when the storms come, if we're holding tight to Jesus, everything will be okay? Right. Because Jesus is holding on to us and he never lets us go. That's the sturdy rock that we should build our lives on. Because I can follow Jesus. Can you guys say that with us one more time? Nice and loud. Are you ready? Are you ready, Miss Nicole? Yes, I am. All right. One, two, three. I, I can, can follow, follow Jesus. So we just learned that I can follow Jesus. And that is great news. Do you know why that's so good? Well, it's because God is good and he loves me. Can you guys say that with me at home? Nice and loud, are you ready? Okay, one, two, three. God is good and he loves me. It's so true, God is so good and he loves you so much. In fact, that's the whole reason that Jesus came. Jesus came so he could show us exactly who God is, that he's good and that he loves us. But he also came so that he could die on the cross to get rid of all of our sin. And sin is that selfish stuff inside of us that makes us want to live like we're our own God instead of trusting God. And it always leads to us hurting ourselves and those around us. And the worst part is it breaks our friendship with God. But Jesus died to get rid of all that sin so that everyone who trusts him could, have, uh, could be friends with God again. And then Jesus even rose again from the dead with brand new life so that everyone who trusts in him and follows him can have brand new life too. Life where God's own spirit comes to live inside of us, to lead us and guide us and be our friend, to transform us so we can look more and more like Jesus in the way we live, to help us follow Jesus. Now, some of you know this, you trust Jesus, you follow him, you have his spirit living inside of you. But some of you hearing this, you've never heard this before, or maybe you've heard it, but it's never made sense to you. But today, you feel like you wanna trust Jesus, you wanna follow Jesus. And if you're feeling that way, I wanna encourage you to, to pray this prayer with me. It's just between you and God, so you can say it out loud or in your heart, but pray something like this. Father God, thank you so much for loving me so much that you sent Jesus to get rid of all my sin. I turn from my sin and turn to you. Thank you for Jesus's resurrection that brings me brand new life. Thank you for your spirit that comes to live inside of me, to lead me and guide me and be my friend, to help me become like you, to help me follow you. 
In Jesus' name, amen. If you just prayed that prayer for the first time, congratulations, best decision of your life. Make sure that you tell people, tell your parents, your grandparents, your cousins, your aunts, your uncles, your siblings, your pets, tell us too so that we can celebrate with you and help you take some next steps in your new adventure with Jesus. Now, in just a minute, we're all gonna celebrate Jesus with some singing and dancing. But first, I would love to pray for you. Something I like to do when someone's praying for me is hold my hands out like this and close my eyes. It's just a way of reminding my mind and my body that I'm listening quietly for what the Holy Spirit might want to say through someone's prayers. Are you guys ready? All right. Father God, thank you so much for these kids. Thank you that you love them and you made them on purpose. God, thank you that you want them to follow you into the awesome life you have for them. Holy Spirit, be revealing yourself to these kids now. Give them the power to follow Jesus as you keep making them into the people that they're meant to be. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys, hop up to your feet because we're going to celebrate Jesus with some singing and dancing. Yo, 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 this is DJ Praise Z, and I want everyone to make some noise and praise the Lord together. Uh, here we go. Gonna, gonna shine my light. Yeah. Gonna make the whole world bright with the love, the love, y'all, of my king, of my king. Gonna shine yeah. my light. Uh -huh. Gonna make the whole world bright uh -huh. with the love, the love, y'all, of my king. Yeah, take it to the bridge. Straight from the word, y'all. If I get a crown, I'm gonna lay it down at the feet. I'm gonna lay it down of my king. Yeah, I'm gonna give it up. If I get a crown, I'm gonna lay it down at the feet. Yeah, I'm gonna lay it down of my king. Uh, with us. I know I had a lot of fun. We hope you did too. Now, 
Our morning might be almost done, but that does not mean the fun is over. If you wanna keep exploring God's big story together at home with your family, then make sure you check us out on the Celebration Kids Instagram page. And stick around for any bloopers or funny bits we had while making uh, this morning for you guys. That'll be great to laugh together. <laughs> uh, really, that's it. So I guess until we see you guys next, let's celebrate! celebrate! There's probably more than I'm supposed to say. Yeah, there is. I already forgot it. I'm not smart. <sighs> I don't mean Rachel's not smart, I just mean that Rachel does this a lot. This is my pride. <laughs> I can't absorb these words. I'm staring at them, they're not going into my head. Could have had to be game. Got it. Nope. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> and I lost my head. I mean my hat. Oh, this will make it into the bloopers for that week. <laughs> it's been a while since I've been in the bloopers. I wasn't go. rolling yet. No, we're not. <laughs> Into the end. No! <laughs> Glad that's going in the bloopers. No! <laughs> so, are we going to. Do... Yeah. Yes, yeah, we are. I see the light. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> I shouldn't have opened that. That's nice. Okay. So, are we ready to go? So, the show is. Just wait! What was that even? <laughs> are we ready? We are so. Are we discussing it? You're like, oh my god. <laughs> wait, that's a voice bubble. Oh, voice okay, bubble, I hate those. Sorry. And then, that was weird. Okay. That was bad. Wait, were you recording that? Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. I need to just let me come down for a second. Okay. I guess that's why thousands of people, thousands of years. <laughs> oh. The amount of times you go like this at the camera, I want to make it into a t-shirt. Okay. We want you for celebration. We're gonna make that into a poster and put it everywhere. Yes. Okay. I guess that's why thousands of years later there were still so many of us following. Be you know, we've looked at a lot of what Jesus taught us and did. Okay. Do you want to redo that? Hold line? on a second. <laughs> Taught and did. He didn't do it for us. He did it for the people. He did it for the people. That's the reason why that he is so special. You're right. Let's head back to base to decide what we will go next. What we will go next. Okay. You're right. Let's head back to base to see where we could go next. Rachel, why'd you mess that up? Because you That's okay. All right. Okay.